I have a huge wall around me. 14 years, brick by brick, I built it. I built it to protect my heart so that people couldn't get in and nobody could hurt me. I would be safe from any and all pain. What I didn't realize was that wall that protected me is the same wall that blocked my view of the outside world. While there were people in my life, that wall still kept me isolated. I laughed and I had fun. I had friendships, but nothing was really meaningful. Everything was surface level. I couldn't see the beauty, the opportunities, or the connections waiting for me. That same wall that is protecting me is also suffocating me. Moving into my tiny home on wheels has taught me a lot about myself, and I continue to learn. But now we embark on another journey. We begin removing the wall, brick by brick, day by day. I have to work so much and pretty much every day these days I promise myself that after each trip unless it was like short you know one or two kilometers that I would stop somewhere take five or ten minutes and love the place around me and start healing myself inside joining me for dinner now are you listen it's gonna be a really simple dinner some tortellini and some fried sausage easy breezy cover girl we're gonna fry the sausage up first because it's already pre-cooked we just need to get a little bit of a sear on it I'm dicing it and I would change the angle for you, but you know what? We've got a whole mess over here. We don't need to be seeing that. I wanted to talk to you while I was cooking my dinner and talk about like some of the epiphanies, the aha, mom the aha moments that I had on my birthday and what my goals are for the future so to speak okay we're just gonna put that up there we're going to i don't have a thing a cover so i'm just going to make my own cover i know this is so whatever but you know what you just gotta make things work until you get all the stuff that you need to get is that not correct i think so i think so 
Anyway, let's not burn down my house. For those of you that don't know, I just use a little one burner butane. And like I said, I'm just going to uh, do the, whatchamacallit first, the sausage. But yeah, so my aha moments. Man, my birthday, oh, runaway sausage, holy moly. We're not going to be using that or that, nasty. My birthday was a real eye-opener for me. A huge eye-opener for me. And, you know, sometimes that stuff happens. And it just takes one moment in your life to realize, oh my goodness, like what have I been doing? Um, as you heard from my voiceover at the beginning of this video, I've been living behind this wall. And everything has been very surface level with me. My relationships, my friendships, even YouTube. Back in the day, I used to be a little bit more transparent on my YouTube, but then the walls, the bricks kept getting, you know, higher and higher, and I put up a guard on what I was sharing and what I wasn't. Sorry about the lighting. Anyway, um, it's never too late to start over, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start over. This journey in my car has taught me a lot of things. I am more resilient than I ever thought I would be. I'm more confident. I am I realize that I don't need things to make me happy because I can't have things in here. I can't go buy, you know, five pairs of shoes and, you know, clothes and, you know, tons of makeup. Holy, let's turn this down. My goodness. What am I trying to do here? Dang, I don't need all that stuff. And while I've been very happy and have had a lot of fun in this last year or even like, you know, the past years, like I said, everything's been very surface level and I want to go a little bit more deeper. I want to remove these walls and open up my heart to really experience life really experience the friendships that I have, the beauty and nature around me. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be sharing this journey with you guys. You know, the ups and downs of living in a car, uh, the beauty around me, sometimes the frustration with the traffic, like literally just, you know, everything. But it's how I'm going to address the frustrating times is what I'm going to be working on. That's my journey. Mindfulness. Whoa, wind. Slow your roll. We don't need to burn down my little house. We do not need that in life. So yeah, that's what uh, this goal is. That's what the journey is. And I hope that you uh, come along for this ride. Right now, um, my my goal obviously was to start traveling and go exploring right now i can't do that i've made the decision and i think i mentioned this in a previous video that i'm not going to worry about dc to dc chargers or monitor battery monitors and all that other stuff because i've been going almost a year without it and i'm fine i don't need it yeah it would be nice to have it but i definitely don't need it my goal right now is to stay put. I have literal paradise all around me. I have enough island to explore. You guys, this, when they say Vancouver Island is paradise, they, they're not kidding. Yeah, we got a lot of rain and everything else, but we can make fun in the rain and go dancing in the puddles, right? Anyway, so I've decided to stay put. And I think, like I said, I think I talked about that in the last video get completely out of debt, minus my silly car, but um, only have my car and, you know, the phone insurance and stuff as a debt. And I'm so close, like I'm only a few months away. So that's my goal. And because I have to work pretty much every day and I don't want to do ride-alongs every day, and, you know, I might throw one in here and there because this is, you know, 
I'm video, it's, this is a video diary. If I happen to be working one day, well then, you know, maybe I'll take you along with me. But uh, I've made myself a promise that instead of going from job to job to job, if you don't know, I do gig work for a living. So I do Instacart and Skip the Dishes and Uber and all that good stuff. And um, we're just gonna turn this off. Well, okay, these sausages are done. Oh, shoot. I keep losing these sausages. Sneaky little buggers. Woo! Okay, put that up there. Fill this thing with water. Un momento, por favor. Okay, this spout is the slowest spout ever. That should be sufficient. I'm not going to, uh, I don't want a whole lot of tortellinis. So we're going to put that up so we can get that to a boil. And now I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, so yes, I have to work a lot. Uh, the economy is not as strong as it once was. So I do have to pretty much work every day. But I've made myself a promise that I can take 5 or 10 minutes or even 15 minutes in between orders and in between everything. And if I go to an area that I think is, you know, beautiful or interesting or whatever, however, I'm going to stop and I'm going to be mindful of where I am. And be present in that moment and just take in wherever, you know, whatever area I'm in, whether it's, you know, nature or a park or whatever, however, and... I invite you to come along with me. You and I can do this right here on beautiful Vancouver Island. And I'm so excited. I feel like I've already started taking some bricks down. And this is uh, a new... Listen, wind. This is going to be a new journey. And I'm excited. And... Uh, I know it's not going to be smooth. Nothing ever is smooth. But I also know that it's never too late. You know, I'm in my 50s right now. and But it's not too late to open my heart up and uh, really start enjoying life again. I'm just waiting for this water to boil. And the sun's beating down on me. I don't even know. I can't even see the screen, so I don't. I don't even know if you can see me. Yummy, yummy. And typically when I eat dinner, I would throw on Netflix or a YouTube or something. Today, the start of my journey, I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to turn on an audio book, sit here, listen to it and enjoy my dinner. I am stuffed. That was a fabulous dinner. Where are my keys? In the ignition. And now as the night starts to creep in we are going to head over and get some tea would you like a cup of tea I would like a cup of tea all the dishes are done everything's put away and um, I think I'm gonna go like I said get a cup of tea and start editing this a video and maybe start reading I go between audible and reading I know I'm fully aware, fully aware. But right now I'm reading, I just started a new book on mindfulness. And I just want to uh, dig into that a little bit more. It's very bright, it's bright light, bright light, bright light.